Today's video is gonna be 25 items I've sold recently on eBay, and I'm gonna tell you about them in 10 minutes or less. So let's get going. First up, I sold this Chicago Cubs quarter zip pullover jacket. It's made by Majestic. I found this at a Goodwill. I paid $6.45 for it, and it sold for $34.99 plus shipping. I sold this pair of Nike Court Legacy Canvas sneakers i found them at the bins the bins is a goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound where i pay a dollar 39 a pound almost three dollars into them and they sold for 29 dollars 99 cents plus shipping all right next up is a pair of under armor cold gear fleece pants i found these at a goodwill i have three dollars and 88 cents into them and i took a best offer of 18 dollars plus shipping i sold this nike tank top it was brand new with tags i paid four dollars and 50 cents for it and ended up selling for 19 dollars 99 cents uh, plus shipping this is goosebumps series 2000 i had 79 cents into this book and uh i took a best offer of 15 dollars did i say it was a first print it's first print all right one of my favorite things to sell is honestly sweaters this is an ll bean sheetland wool sweater it was uh, made in ireland i had an average buy cost a day of eight dollars and eighty cents which seems like a lot and i'm trying to get better on being more picky on finding on days that aren't sale days to find really good items to sell and i felt like this was a really good item to sell uh, i took a best offer of 35 dollars 99 plus shipping for sweaters i look for anything that's not not a regular cotton sweater uh, i'm looking for some kind of wool blend to it uh something something like that and then i'll look it up from there going along with besides wool is some kind of cashmere blend this is a kirkland signature 100% cashmere sweater. I found it at Goodwill. I paid $7.96 for it. I knew it had one little snag on the bottom, the bottom of the sweater, but I ended up finding a couple stains in the front. Um, so I still listed it for $29.99. I was sending an offer of $21 and decided I was going to go ahead and just take it. Kirkland Signature, I think that's like a Costco brand if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong there. I found this Karate Kid Collectors VHS collector series i have a dollar 87 into it and it sold for 20 dollars plus shipping and this shipped to canada make sure i keep international shipping on most of my items including clothing i sold this pair of nike sportswear cargo pants i found them at goodwill i paid eight dollars and 99 cents for them they sold to canada for 39 dollars 99 cents plus shipping the only problem is is that they uh they sold them on january 27th and on February 4th, they're they're listed as being delivered. And by the 11th, I think it was, I got a message from the buyer that they still hadn't received their package. I'm making this video today. It's uh, February 16th, I think. It's the 17th and they still haven't been delivered. By doing first class international shipping, I've learned that there's basically, uh, I can't do anything about it, it looks like. USPS, I tried to do a missing, a missing package international and it wouldn't let me do it. It said I couldn't do it. I'll just probably end up having to it sounds like refund this buyer the money. I don't know what other. I don't know what else to do besides uh, just just eat it. So hopefully, uh, fingers crossed that I don't lose this sale. But I, I was super stoked about this sale. Uh, you know, just a pair of Nike pants for forty dollars. Awesome deal. Now the postman has it. Somebody has them. If you guys ever see these pants out there, you just let me know, okay? Probably you probably won't see them. Another international sale I had is I sold this uh, Barbie window, dollhouse window to Russia. I found a big Barbie dollhouse at the Goodwill bins. It was in really rough shape. Uh, it was huge. It took up a lot of room in here. I, I, I There's just so many pieces that were missing from it. I just didn't want to mess with it. So I just took off anything that I could take off and part it out and i found on the on the window i found a number on it i typed that number into ebay saw there's some sold comps and this sold for 19 dollars 99 cents plus shipping i sold this pair of charles oh man tyrant tyrant i'm not even sure i'm not even try to keep saying the name but uh i found them at goodwill i paid a dollar for for each of them and i ended up taking a best offer of 15 dollars plus shipping all right some stuff you know is going to take a long time to sell i found this watching kevin at commonwealth flipper he he talked about these in one of his videos so i've been on the lookout for him i paid one dollar and fifty cents for it it's from 1996 it's a rubber made laundry basket i found this at a goodwill i paid a dollar 49 for it in september of 2020 and uh, it finally sold in January of 2022 for $39.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. They were all in $71 and I'm not 100% sure why they wanted this, but I'm glad I found it for them. I sold this pair of Levi's 560 jeans. I found them at Goodwill. I paid $7.27 for them and they sold for $29.99 plus shipping. 
when I go out thrifting, I take everything I buy from that thrifting trip and I just average it out, give it an average buy cost. And that's just, just basically just for reference if I want to talk about it in a video. But I sold this Oakley polo shirt. I found it at Goodwill. I paid $7.27 as part of my average buy cost. And it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And it sold in about three days. So super fast seller. Yeah, I had these area uh, work boots. They're just sitting in this eBay room for probably close to a year. Uh, they were in bad shape. I, I I should have taken a picture before I cleaned them up and then listed them. But uh, I ended up, I have about $12 into them and they sold for $69.99 plus shipping. I found this Steve and Barry uh, fake leather jacket at Goodwill. Um, I, I paid $7.80 for it and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. I uh, usually will take a chance on buying a bag of toys at Goodwill all lotted up. I bought a bag of dolls. I paid $5 for the entire bag. I just searched through them. Most of them ended up being not really worth much. I used Google Lens to look them up, but I found this. It's a DC Heroes Bumblebee doll. I had $5 into the entire bag, and I sold this one doll for $17.99 plus shipping. I found this pair of Algeria, Algera shoes. I'm not probably not saying the name right, but I, I found it a few times. I found this pair at Goodwill. I paid $3.88 and ended up selling in just a couple days for $19.99 plus shipping. This is a Nike Golf Tour Tour Performance Pullover sweatshirt fleece type thing. Uh, I found it at Goodwill. I paid $6.05 for it. And this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. I've heard before that these are, are faked a lot. Um, I found this pair of True Religion Flare Corduroy pants felt like they were real still wasn't 100 sure but i ended up asking uh, steve at pick and roll who's got a great channel by the way want to learn anything about recently he knows tons but i asked him for his help if he could help me verify if they were not help me but just verify that they were real i sent him some pictures he felt that they're a real pair of vintage corduroy pants so i listed them sold them within a few days for 30 35 dollars how much i sold those suckers for I ended up taking a best offer of $35 plus shipping on those. So thank you, Steve. This is a Better Chef hand mixer. Mom and stepdad were having a garage sale this past season. And I, my mom sent me some pictures. I saw this there. So I told her I would take it because I've sold that before. I paid $5 for it and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So I'm pretty happy about that. Nike uh, Chicago Bulls breakaway pants. I found them at Goodwill. I paid $7.87 for them and I ended up taking a best offer of $45. It's an Arizona Monopoly game, but my average buy cost into this was $7.90 and it ended up selling for $39.99 plus shipping. The only problem I did was I, I do a flat fee most of the time around $9.99. Once in a while, if it was a little bit more than uh, two pounds, I would go up a little bit, but for this one, I listed it for $9.99 for shipping. And usually I get within reason, unless it goes to Washington, Southern California, or Arizona, like New Mexico. And I'm not really sure why I thought this wouldn't go to Arizona, but it did. Shipping cost ended up costing me around $16 to ship this. Uh, so I lost a little bit there, but still I felt like it was a pretty good sale. I sold this pair of Levi's cargo pants. I found them at Goodwill. I paid, how much did I pay for those? $7.96 for them. They ended up selling for $29.99 plus shipping. Uh, my 25th item I was going to share today was going to be this. Well, I'm going to share it anyway, but it's this L.L. Bean merino lamb's wool sweater i picked this up at goodwill for eight dollars and 36 cents ended up taking a best offer of 75 dollars on it super pumped about that so couldn't wait to tell you guys about it still wanted to tell you about it but also bad news is that the buyers opened a return request uh, yesterday that he just uh, he didn't really like it he doesn't want to keep the sweater it bums me out like I, I don't want to get too upset about having returns and stuff because it's just part of business but as i talked about earlier with those those pair of nike pants it was all in all that's like a 50 dollar sale with with shipping and stuff that i'm probably going to be out of and then this is a 75 dollar sale Th i mean those two sales there that's that's about 125 dollars uh, of just money that's gonna come out of my account and uh that just sucks it, it kind of deflated me a little bit yesterday so i wanted to give you a 25th item that i sold since i'm getting a return on that one and it's this phillips vcr dvd combo i'm not 100 percent sure how much i paid for it i can't remember when i bought this it's been listed for a long time i was sent a best offer of 11001 the buyer paid 14 dollars 99 cents for shipping so the buyer was all in 125 dollars for this if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing i'll see you guys next time bye
Oh, time's up. <laughs> I charge shipping for everything now. Most of the time. There might be a couple items uh, down below. There. You can always check out my store on eBay, my store on Macari if I actually ever sell anything. I sold one thing on there this year. I have to cut all that out. We don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I gotta tell you about the stuff I sold. I can't complain about tank tops. I mean, I don't wear them personally, but that's just a personal preference of my own. I like hats. I should wear more hats. I bet I'd probably right now.